good things. I'll wait for you to adjust your cameras and then I'll move. <laughs> so. So I, think, I think we asked a question that they said you, you should answer. Yeah. Oh. So maybe you should start. Oh. Uh, yeah. Should I ID myself and then we'll go? Sure. 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 Uh, Dennis Heaton, executive producer and writer for Ghostbusters. Well, I was asking, with, you know, with the genre, there's so many different angles and approaches to the genre, and you know, everybody's trying to make their own like, style and theme. Like, what do you hope that your mark will be on in the genre? Like, what mark you're going to leave on this genre? Some different you know, signature. I, I think the, you know, the thing that, well, the thing that drew me to writing for this show uh, that really got me excited to want to get on board with Simon was the fact that, um, you know, when we were dealing with a show that was just going to be ghosts, so we weren't getting into the thing of, like, it was going to be, you know, multiple monsters and, you know, it's like, there's ghosts here and now there's, like, you know, you know, elves and fairies and vampires and werewolves. We're staying very much in the realm of this is, you know, this is a supernatural show, and they're very intimate stories. So despite the fact that it's like a, uh, you know, there's a series arc, and, you know, there's like an ensemble cast, each sort of, it's almost like a combination of, of anthology with, with a regular uh, sort of horror series that has this through line from episode 1 to 13. There's also, you know, each character almost gets their own intimate content. Because, you know, ghost stories are a very personal thing, so it's kind of... You know, and that was the big problem we had when we first sat down. It was like, Ghost Wars, what the fuck is that going to be? I mean, it's like, is it going to be like, you know, like ghosts with guns? Or, <laughs> or like, we're going to see like, you know, they're, they're, you know we're going to have like some scene where, you know, Meat's yelling, they're flanking us! You know, and, and so it was like trying to figure out, you know, what, you know, how they were going to hurt us and what they were going to be after and stuff like that. So after we sort of locked all that down, you know, we made sure that we were locking down something that would give us a lot of, you know, life to the show, but also that was very personal for us, so that we could uh, we could connect to it. So. so we were told that the indigenous culture is also going to somehow come out of the forest. And do you do research like that? Do you Uh, definitely whenever we're dealing um, you know whenever we're dealing with First Nations aspects and stuff like that um, you know we want to make sure we're being as uh, um, not we don't want to push them off uh, you know and the best way to do that is to involve them in, in, in the stories and in the shows so when we do get into that that kind of realm we make sure you know we're not just doing Wikipedia searches we're going out and on all fronts we find technical advisors that are willing to work with us to make sure we're doing the most um, you know realistic you know representation of, of what we're trying to do. Oh yeah no I mean you know and then that that was something like I before I did Ghost Wars, I did a I did a cop show called Motive, and uh, you know we were doing an episode where our uh, the lead of the series was directing for the first time, and she was really worried that we were going to upset somebody with the story. And it's kind of like you're always going to upset somebody. Like if there's one thing the internet has taught us <laughs> is you know you you are going to anger one at least one person, probably a group, and they have a Reddit channel. So you know you might as well just live with it and just just roll through it and as long as you're going forward with the best intentions that's you know that's that's what you have to sort of go back on and you know at least I wasn't trying to be a jerk so when you're dealing with a show that has all these special effects and you know the very striking imagery that we saw in the trailer that was just released mm -hmm. do you have that in mind when you're writing it or do you write the story first and then figure out the best way to visually I don't know put that you know energetic yeah. interpretation into it yeah well um, we start with the story and we just we just make sure the story is fun and then um, and then we wait for the effects house to come to us and say this is impossible, but we can do it this way. And then we go, "Phew, let's find another way to do it." Um, or we go, "Okay, I get it. It's like physically impossible to sm stuff somebody into their own mouth." Uh, CGI, I guess. So you know, it's 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 we we let the we let the story dictate what's going to happen. And and you know, you know, the thing about TV production is. 
is at some point budget's going to become an issue and, and you know sometimes you have to horse trade and it's, it's, it's sort of like okay what am I willing to surrender in order to make sure I'm still getting that impact that I want at this moment and you know we just find those ways to to, to modify <laughs> Obviously, you have you want to show that you're sitting in for a you want for a long time. Because you already have like, in your mind like, individual characters, like an endgame, like a character in an endgame for like, certain situations. Like, I mean, time. for myself, yeah, but it's basically they're all going to die. Spoiler. Yeah, spoiler alert. You know, it's kind of like the Game of Thrones spoiler. It's like, they're going to die. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of written on the wall. But, you know, yeah. No, I would just, I would just murder everybody. You know, but, well, yeah, everybody. I would just be like, how do you, how do you, how do you lose a ghost war? Or conversely, how do you win a ghost war? So. Have you had your own? Yes. Yeah. When I was nine, I saw a ghost when I was camping, and uh, yeah, and it was it was like in a cottage, and you know, it was one of those things where we'd heard a you know a ghost story a couple of days earlier, and then I saw it. So it was always that thing of like, you know, my parents were like, "Well, that was your imagination." It's like, you know what? At three a.m., it doesn't fucking matter what it was. I was afraid. Yeah. <laughs>